Hey, working musicians, did you know that the Paycheck Protection Program is also available for independent contractors and sole proprietorships? Well, it is. And if you're a working musician and you filed your 2019 tax returns as such, contractor or sole proprietorship, then you are eligible. So here are my top five reasons why you need to apply for a PPP loan right now. Number five, it's first come, first serve. The application process opens on Monday, January 11th, 2021, and the deadline is March 31st. But do not wait until the last minute. Okay, we saw last year how a lot of big businesses came in and scooped up the funding, and that left about 53% of the applicants uh, denied because there wasn't any more money left. Okay, so do not wait. As soon as you can, apply for the PPP loan. Number four, it's actually easier than applying for unemployment. So if you're on the pandemic unemployment assistance program through the CARES Act, then you know you had to set up an initial application and then each week you had to certify your unemployment status in order to continue to get paid. Well, with a PPP loan, it's one and done. Once you're approved, the money will hit your bank account direct deposit within a few days. Number three, you can still work while using the PPP funding. Unlike unemployment, there are no weekly certifications. Okay, so once you get funded, you're good to go. For those of you that have been on unemployment, you know that you have to claim any money that you earn each week. That could be as minimal as just getting some tips on a live stream. All that money needs to be reported and then deducted against your weekly benefit. And then eventually you could just become ineligible. But with a PPP loan, they encourage you to continue working, stay afloat, and get through this hard time. Number two, it's free money. Yes, technically it's a loan. But as long as you spend it according to the SBA's guidelines and the loan is less than $150,000, then it will be 100% forgivable. Okay, so the current guidelines suggest that you use the funding, 60% of it, for um, payroll. But if you're an independent contractor or a sole proprietorship, that means you can actually pay yourself a weekly salary with those funds. And drum roll please, reason number one. It's free money. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> All right, now let's get to some questions. How do you get the loan? Okay, so it is through the Small Business Association, but you have to go through a bank to apply. All right, so having an established relationship with an existing bank will get you priority. Um, so case in point, in 2020, I applied through two different banks that I use. And the bank that gave me the funding was the bank that I had the longest relationship with. I also had two car loans with them, et cetera. So uh, they were the quickest to respond. And I got the money in a matter of dates, which was amazing. Okay, another important question, how much do you get? So this might sound complicated, but it's really not. Take your 2019 IRS form 1040, look at schedule C line 31, and that's your net profit. Okay, take your net profit divided by 12, multiply that by 2.5, and that's how much you get. So an example could be $48,000 is your net profit. Divide that by 12 is 4,000 a month. Multiply that by 2.5, which would be $10,000, and that would be your PPP funding amount. If I got a PPP loan in 2020, can I get another one in 2021? Yes, it's called the second draw PPP and I'll be applying for it as soon as it's available on Monday, January 11th. So you just need to show that there's at least a 25% reduction in gross receipts between comparable quarters in 2019 and 2020. So not that complicated. All right, can you receive PUA, which is unemployment and PPP funding? Yes, but not at the same time. Okay, so let's say you're on unemployment right now, and then you apply for a PPP loan. The week that you get funded for the PPP loan is the week you are ineligible for unemployment. Okay, so you can use both, just not at the same time, no double dipping. And last guys, I am a working musician like you. I'm here to create awareness, and I am not an accountant. So my best piece of advice is please talk to your accountant and get all the specifics squared away. You can also get more information at sba.gov 
or treasury.gov uh, information details including comprehensive program rules. So good luck with the funding and I will see you in the next video. Okay guys, quick update here. It is Monday morning, January 11th, 2000. Uh, 21 and I'm on my bank the bank that issued my first PPP loan I'm on their portal and it is not available yet so um, I looked around and I'm here on market watch and here's a statement an attempt to give priority to underserved businesses including minority women and veteran owned businesses only loan applications from community financial institutions will be accepted for the first two days when the PPP loan portal initially opens okay so um you know this is actually good news because here uh latest round of ppp funding targets mom and pop businesses so um this is good uh just sit tight you know um keep checking back with your bank and in my case i'm waiting for an email notification from my bank so sit tight it is coming and uh good luck with the application process